Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Kerwin, a pediatric pulmonologist at Children's Hospital. I want to talk with you about a rare disease that I sometimes see, bronchiolitis obliterans, and the most common infection causing this, adenovirus. Adenovirus usually causes a bad cold. It accounts for 5 to 10 percent of respiratory tract infections in hospitalized children, most of whom improve and go home after a few days. A small percentage of these patients, particularly young infants, will have progressive disease, needing intubation and mechanical ventilation or a heart-lung machine to keep them alive. Some of these infants will die. Many of those who survive will have lungs with scarred and narrowed small airways known as bronchioles, which is the pathology found in bronchiolitis obliterans. As a result, these infants face a life of chronic disease, oxygen therapy, and exercise intolerance. In short, the adenovirus has stolen their childhood and rendered them respiratory cripples. For several years, I have wondered, what is different about the children who have this bad outcome? Does their genetic makeup render them especially susceptible to adenovirus? Is the difference in the adenovirus instead of the child? Might there be something in the child's environment that increases their risk? I think that children who develop bronchiolitis obliterans have inflammation that is either too turned on or not properly turned off. Inflammation involves a controlled balancing act, a sort of yin-yang harmony controlled by molecules called cytokines whose levels control this balance. There is no treatment to reverse the airway scarring of bronchiolitis obliterans. New research tools, however, can solve the mystery linking adenovirus and this disease. We can isolate and sequence the DNA from our patients, their parents and adenovirus looking for small differences in each that might alter the body's immune response. We will measure cytokines in the nasal secretions of patients with adenovirus, but we'll collect them differently than the way shown here. We will examine chest x-rays to see areas of abnormal airflow where damage is occurring. Here's my team that will explore the differences between those infants who just have a bad cold and those who wind up in the ICU and survive to face a lifetime of respiratory disease.